At the end of the show, Cheaters presents his final decisions. But now, Nikki Ross notices a recent change in her boyfriend's demeanor. With alarm bells ringing, Nikki comes to Cheaters for help in solving the mystery. Following the confrontation, Robert Perry not only ends his relationship with the suspect, but he also dissolves the business arrangement with his friend. Robert decries to Cheaters professionals, how can I possibly stay friends with them? The two people I trusted lied to me and made me look foolish on national TV. How do you deal with that? Robert admits going through a tough time, but insists he won't let this incident ruin things for the next woman. For her part in the fling, the suspect, Gemma Taylor, emphatically asserts that Robert's conduct drove her into her companion's arms. Gemma states to cheaters, Robert was always so controlling. When I told him I wanted to do nude modeling, he wouldn't have any of it. Well, it's my body and I'll do what I want with it. The suspect's companion, Spencer Davis, admits his culpability in the ongoing affair. However, Davis tells Cheaters producers, I couldn't care less about Robert's feelings. Gemma is hot. Disgusted by the length of the deception, Nikki Ross immediately cuts off all contact with the suspect. Nikki expresses her anger to Cheaters, stating, it went on for a year. What does he think I am, stupid? Nikki feels grateful for not having moved on to the next level with the suspect, considering the circumstances. When approached by Cheater's producers, the suspect, Dylan, had few words, most of which were too vulgar to repeat. Cheater's producers could not reach the suspect's companion for comment. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and of course visit DetectiveGomez.com. Robert finds solace in his family and friends. Coming up shortly, Cheaters update you on his status. But now, please meet Robert Gresham, a compassionate gentleman questioning his girlfriend's level of commitment. Seeking guidance for their once happy romance, Robert dutifully turns to Cheaters. Robert Grisham, age 27, a youth minister concerned by his girlfriend's change of habits. I remember just uh, last winter being in my apartment and uh, we had a fire going and we were just uh, cuddled close together under a blanket and she was just telling me about how much she appreciated me being in her life and uh, how much she just uh, how much she loved me and our future together she was wrestling with a, a small drug problem it wasn't anything major, but, um, you know, just some, uh, just some personal problems in her life. Uh, she was dealing with a lot of, uh, rumors and things like that from her past. And, um, I just, uh, I really stuck by her and just helped her see her way through those things and realize that Christ was with her no matter what. I'm a leader at my church. Uh, I do, I, I'm on staff, and so um, my attendance at church is very important. I'm there every week, um, regardless. And, uh, you know, her attendance when we first started dating was right there with mine, you know. Um, she was there with me every week, um, participating. She participates in the ministries now. Um, and just in the past couple of months, she's her attendance has just kind of waned a little. One thing I have noticed is, it, it, I kind of feel like there's no more love in her voice when she talks to me now. I especially notice that on the phone. Um, she just seems in a rush to get off the phone with me. I don't know, like she, like she doesn't have time for me anymore. I, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is. I need to know what's going on. I, uh, I, need, a, I need another set of eyes. 
maybe another two or three sets of eyes. I don't... I've got to find out. On it. I don't know. I don't know if I can even handle it, but I, I've. I've got to know. Misha Oaks, age 28, a choreographer dancing around the truth. Investigation Day 5. Cheaters detectives waste no time initiating the current investigation and assign field crews to the residence Robert shares with a suspect. After several days of routine activity, Cheaters PIs spot suspect Misha Oaks leaving her home one afternoon. Making several stops along the way, suspect Oaks arrives at an apartment complex, then quickly disappears into one of the units. The situation becomes immediately apparent as suspect Oaks emerges from the home wrapped in the affectionate embrace of an unknown gentleman. Traveling a few miles to a local eatery, suspect Oaks dons her companion's jacket as he leads her inside where the two share a meal and some kissing. Satisfied, the couple ventures to a nearby movie house. As they wait for the show to begin, the unknown gentleman educates Suspect Oaks in the finer points of gaming. Hours later, Suspect Oaks and loving companion commemorate their time together before departing back to the companion's residence. Calling it a day, Suspect Oaks' male companion retrieves his coat before bidding his sweetheart farewell. Investigation Day 7. Hours after Robert is left for the day, Cheater's detectives perk up when Suspect Oaks departs the apartment and heads straight to the same residence she visited two days earlier. Suspect Oaks parks her car. Her companion, who has now been identified as Topaz Williams, swaggers out to her SUV. Watching the two exchange friendly hellos from afar, Cheater's investigators tail Suspect Oaks and Companion Williams for several miles, determining the day's itinerary as the couple stops at a video rental store. Selecting a handful of movies, the cozy couple checks out, then heads over to a grocery store a few blocks away. Strolling the aisles, Companion Williams assists Suspect Oaks in picking out the necessary items for their afternoon alone. With their purchases in hand, Companion Williams displays his familiarity with Suspect Oaks as they enter her vehicle and return to his apartment. Suspect Oaks spends her few stolen hours remaining with Companion Williams behind closed doors. Eventually, Suspect Oaks is forced to leave for a dinner date with Robert. Investigation Day 10. All activities appear back to normal as Suspect Oaks sees Robert off to work in the morning. But Cheater's surveillance teams are quickly reassured of Suspect Oaks' intentions as she departs just 10 minutes later. She is soon back at Companion Williams' front door. He greets her and sweeps her off her feet. Suspect Oaks shows her contempt for Robert in this recorded phone conversation. Concluding the operation, Cheater's detectives prepare a summary for Robert. After the break, the confrontation. With Misha's infidelity well documented, Cheaters request a meeting with Robert to disclose the outcome of his case. Unwavering from his pursuit to secure Misha's love, Robert hurries to discover the cause behind her dispassionate behavior. Rob, thanks for being out here this afternoon. No problem. Thank you. I know that when you initially contacted us, you had some concerns about what was going on in your relationship. Our detectives have compiled some of the information that you've requested of us. Are you ready to take a look at some of that, Rob? Yes, definitely. On this day of the investigation, Rob, we had a detective that was outside Nisha's apartment. She was observed coming out of her apartment, gets into her truck, and drives to a residence after 
entering, she is seen leaving shortly thereafter with the gentleman in tow. Oh. They're followed to a restaurant. And you can see him leaning in your bird kiss. I know that's... That's not... I know that's unexpected. After lunch with this gentleman, they go to a theater. I don't know from this information if they did actually go to a show. But while they're waiting for some time, they're playing some arcades, taking some photos. These are things you do with people that you're involved in a relationship with. After the outing of the day, she drops him off. He leans in, gives her a kiss, and then she goes home. On this day of the investigation, we again were able to observe Misha as she left the apartment. The detectives followed her. She arrived again at the residence of this gentleman. They travel to a video store, go inside and make some selections. And after making their selections, they load back up in the vehicle, stop at a grocery store, do some shopping. They go into an apartment. I know you don't want to look at that. I, I apologize. Again, he moves in closely behind her, goes inside, and after some time, she was observed exiting. On this day, she sends you off to work, goes inside after she feels confident that she's left, comes right back out, gets into her truck, and again goes to the residence of this gentleman. And you could see how she's carrying on. You could see for yourself how they're carrying on. They stop by a park, and you can see an embrace. It's relatively intimate carrying on where they go back to the residence of this gentleman. And there's a, another kiss and embrace. And Rob, that's not pleasant. I understand. Is this at least an answer to some of the questions that you've been struggling with in your mind? Yeah. I know what's going on now. We do know that as we stand here, Misha is again in the company of this gentleman. I'm going to call the detective right now and find out what their exact location is. Yeah, we just finished up the client briefing. Could you tell me what we have? They're in a restaurant right around the corner. Okay, we have detectives inside and out. They've been there for a little while. Okay, we're wrapping up right now. We're head over. All right. Are you ready to go? Let's do this. Okay, let's load up. Come with me. Has anything like this ever happened before? Yeah. What happened with, with that relationship? It ended. Broke it off. Uh... Any thoughts about what might happen with this one? It's, it's going to be over. I mean, um, I don't know what she's going to do about the community that we're involved in because uh, she's just as involved in it as I am. and I don't know. We've never dealt with something like this before, so I don't know. Could be in now. Yeah. Go ahead and start moving. Okay. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling right now. They left the restaurant? Okay. They're across the street. They're on the move. All right. She's got a tan track suit. You got a visual? Yep, I got you right now. Right there? Stop. Stop. There they are. Okay. Robert, come on this side. Come out this side. Misha, I'm Joey Greco with Cheaters. 
can you stop, can you stop for a second and give Robert a chance to ask you some questions? It's okay. Hey, it's all right. Don't, don't start getting out crumb, dog. Don't start getting out crumb, man. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's now, what, what I'm trying to figure out. No, I want some answers. What, what are all of this? What's this right here? What's going on? What's going on? While, while, while I'm at work, while I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, providing. You off with this okay. right here? Oh my God! I, I, I know, I know that. I know okay. the boyfriend, but I, I ain't know. Oh, you I, knew? I, I never knew who he was. All I know is like this. Um, I was having a good time with him, and uh, I don't know, man. I don't, he got kind of like got me scared right now because I don't know right. he, he'll have a gun, a weapon, or none that you don't know okay. that. Okay. You can't even get this dude to take you out in his own car. You ain't got a car, dude. You ain't got a car. You got me here with my car. Right? So what do you want? What do you want me to do now? What am I supposed to say now? I don't you know, know. went through all this. Thinking, what do you want me to do? I don't know. I was thinking, you know, get your stuff out by five. I'm not leaving you. You're not. I'm not leaving you, and you're not leaving me. Coming up next, the conclusion. I don't know. I was thinking, you know, get your stuff out by five. I'm not leaving you. You're not. I'm not leaving you. And you're not leaving me. You were having problems in your relationship, but you're also helping cause problems in someone else's relationship. That's is, true. Is that? That's true. I mean, I don't got no excuse. Right. I don't have no excuse whatsoever. I don't have none to wear. Even if I could have an excuse that could give me a million dollars, win a million mm -hmm. dollars, I don't have one for that, though. I'm in the wrong, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. But both well, how, of us in the wrong. Well, but, how long were you going to let it continue, though? I don't know. I mean, I was having a good time with her, but... As long as you were sense, having a good time? In a sense, I admit in a sense, it was at times where I felt that her mind was leaning towards him, you know, the way she reacted and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it maybe it wasn't going to go a long time and stuff. I did see some traces that she really cared about this guy. We're going to be together. I don't know about that. Yes, we are. I don't know about that. Yes, we are. So there's nothing we can do about it but move on, all right? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm about to do. If he, if, he, if he would, could I say something to him? I think at least you own an apology. This is too much. Let's, let's, hear, let's hear what I got to say. Let's hear what I got to say. I don't want, I don't want to get into you or nothing. I don't, I don't care, dude. I, I don't care. I'm just going to say one thing. I was in the wrong. I was. I admit I was in the wrong. But all along, man, you know, I had a feeling, man, that she still had feelings about you, man. I, and I sensed that for the way certain times she acted around me. And I ain't trying to do nothing, you know what I'm saying, to make you not hurt her, though. But I'm sorry, man. I was in the wrong. I'm being a man, though. You know what I'm saying? Other people just want to hear this said, fucking this would have burned off. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you know right now, I don't want you to see me. We have any type of grudge, any type of bitter feelings, man. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I get enough about this, man. I did apologize, man. I was man up for you that man. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. I was in the wrong. I think you need to have your stuff out of my apartment by five. I'm not leaving. Is there a reason that you chose to go in this direction, Misha? I mean, I just wanted to make sure that it was what I wanted. So I had to test myself. That doesn't, make, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That doesn't make any sense. It does to me. None. That's it what it that doesn't is. to me or anybody else. That's what that is, though. And, how, and how were you... How was that going to give you an answer as far as this relationship is concerned? Because the whole time I was with him, I couldn't stop thinking about him. Are you okay giving her a ride back because this other gentleman took off? All right. What was I doing that was making you unhappy, or what wasn't I doing that was making you unhappy? Well, Rob, if she doesn't want to talk, you're not going to make her, especially in this environment. But you can still consider how you want to go forward. No one knows what the future holds. I think in the future, when you find someone who shares your commitment, and is the same way that you are. You'll know that. To learn more about this and other cases, log on to cheaters.com.